Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. I'm today I'm going to do a video on something that I'm really, really passionate about, and that is toys. I know that children don't actually need toys. They can go outside and have a lot of fun. They can go out to the park, to the beach, go hiking. There's all kinds of things in nature that kids can do that don't require toys and they can have all kinds of fun. So I am aware of that, but I do like good quality uh, toys, open-ended toys. And if you are not new to my channel, then you probably know that already. So today I wanted to discuss baby toys from, I would say like three months to six months. So I'm going to basically do two or three videos on like a series from three to six and then from six to, I don't, I'm not really sure, six months to maybe maybe a 12 month and then it'll be just two videos. Uh, my baby is right now almost 11, 11 months old, but I just thought I would go backwards and talk about some of the toys that she liked when she was younger and still likes. So first thing I'm gonna do is show you a basic teether. Now, I know like I have a, a friend that bought like, I don't know, four or five teethers and then she realized she didn't need all these teethers. You don't need that many teethers for your baby. Your baby will eventually grow out of a teether. So you just need one good solid teether. Uh, I like to stick to wood, not plastic, because you don't want like weird stuff in your baby's mouth. So this one is from, uh, let's see, Schoolhouse Naturals made in Middlebury, Vermont in the US. And it's cut from solid hardwood maple. It's very, very smooth. It's not gonna splinter whatsoever. And I just love it and she loves it. Even till now, she's almost 11 months old and she really, really loves it. She's, she's teething, so she still puts it in her mouth. She, at this point, she throws it across the room and then will uh, crawl to it, which is really fun to see her do that. So that's this is a plus. This is definitely, you want a nice little teether. And this was not very expensive. And I'll put everything that I'm gonna show you down in the description with the link. So. There's this teether. All right, so I finished charging my camera. So I don't remember where I left off, but I'm going to try to remember. I think I had talked about a teether already. So the next toy I want to show you guys is uh, this Plant Toys Keys. This is a great little toy because it's really soft. This part is really soft and there's a little bit of wood there and then the keys are all made out of wood. But what I like about it is when she was younger, and even now still, she would hold it and then just kind of shake it really hard. Uh, she would look at the color. She really loved looking at this, shaking it, like I said, and she liked to teeth on it. She liked to bite on it a lot. Uh, so this was definitely a favorite of hers when she was younger and now. Uh, she would, you know, we would take it in the car and she would just kind of be going like this the entire time. It's just a great little simple toy. It's not expensive at all. Again, it's non-toxic paint it's by a company named plant toys you guys have heard me talk about them i really like them uh and it's an eco-friendly toy so that's good the next toy is uh, this toy is by grimms uh it's a german company and uh it's a great great uh toy company they make all their stuff at non-toxic paints all that good stuff so this is wood this is a great <laughs> this is really funny let me show you guys what she's doing right now <laughs> Anyways, this is a great toy because she likes to put her hands through it. She would, what she used to do is hold on to it again, shake it around. She loved the color. She loved to stare at it. Uh, she would just, you know, it's a, it's a clutch, clutching toy. And she just kind of roll her, the, roll the balls through her fingers, roll the balls on top of each other. Uh, she loved the color. She just really liked this toy. And it's, believe it or not, it has grown with her because she still likes it. And even my toddler plays with this. She'll use it as, uh, she has like these wooden ice cream cones and she'll put it on top as, a, as basically ice cream. So I don't know, it's a cute toy. And I bought this secondhand. They are not the cheapest, but they do make great, great toys. Like for example, this is a Grimm's toy. And this is like a, a family favorite of ours. Uh, Lyric plays with this, my toddler, and even my baby who's 11 months old loves it. So, yeah, so there's that. And the next toy I want to show you guys is 
I'm not sure if I showed you guys this already, but this is a, a bell cylinder. I love this toy. I got it from an Etsy shop. I think it's called Montessori Works uh, on, on Etsy. And I will find the link and link it down below, but they make great toys, all, uh, you know, wood. There's no paint on this. And she loved this toy and still does. She likes to put her fingers through it and then also just kind of shake it. She loved to look at the bell. Uh, it was just a great toy. And this will last for a long time because now even my toddler plays with this as a musical toy. So when we, we like to play music as a family. And so we all take an instrument out and kind of play uh, with the instrument out. And so this is kind of used now as a, as a musical toy. So this will definitely grow with your child. It's just a great little toy. So there's that. The next toy I have are stacking cups like these ones and I'm missing the rest of them because they're outside. But this is made by a company called Green Toys and they make all their toys from recycled milk jugs and they're great. And the cool thing about them is that you can find them at Home Goods and they're not very expensive at Home Goods. And again, they're made in the US from recycled milk jugs. So that's good. And they're very reasonably priced. You can even get them at Ross. I've seen them at Ross, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, yeah, Amazon, there are a lot of different places. And stacking cups is, you know, an all time favorite for a lot of babies and even kids. So, because after when they get older, this will grow with your child because when they, when they get older, we can we use these as sand toys a lot of times. Like my toddler uses these as sand toys. You can wash these in the dishwasher. The next toy I have is a basic uh, little, uh, you know, stuffed animal. This is by Under the Nile, great company. They make all organic uh, toys, like they make clothes too, organic clothes for babies. But the cool thing about this is that it's stuffed with organic cotton. Uh, the exterior is organic cotton and it's just very simple, very soft. She loves to hold it. When she was younger, like, I don't know, four or five months, she would basically put it in her mouth like everything else. But what's cool is that it was organic cotton, so I, didn't, I wasn't worried about anything. Uh, and it'll grow with your child because what kid doesn't love little stuffed animals that they've had since they were a baby? I mean, that's just great. Uh, and it's a great company, so this is a good toy. Isn't necessarily for a baby, but she still loves it till this day. She even loved it when she was younger. And she was playing with it right now, but uh, she was put it down. And this is a Plant Toys, I guess, alligator. I love it because there's nothing on it where she can choke, you know? Like she likes to pull the string even right now. Obviously, uh, this video is for a three to six month old, but as you can see, uh, you know, it'll grow with your child. The cool thing about this toy is that when she was younger, all she did was kind of look at it. Sometimes she would pick, up, pick it up and she would kind of shake it. Right now she really wants it, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it to her. Yeah. <gasps> what is that? Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, so yeah, and it's uh, by Plant Toys. Again, non-toxic paint, all that jazz that we love to hear. <laughs> okay, so the next toy is just basic ball. This is a wooden ball. Uh, but I, I feel like when they're more from the three to six month old, it's better to get like an uh, organic cotton ball or anything like that. We had one, but we lost it. We don't know where it's at anymore. So uh, I can't show it to you, but I will link the one that we had down below. And she really, really loved it. You know, balls are just great. All kinds of different uh, sensory balls because they can throw them. They can try to crawl to towards it. They like to just, you know, hold on to them and they're just great. The next toy is not really a toy that you would think of when you're thinking about uh, toys for babies from three to six months, but I consider it a great toy for babies. It's just basic blocks. Now we already had blocks for my daughter Lyric, who's older, but she, when she was younger and she started to hold on to toys and hold on to things, she loved putting one each in her hands and then just kind of tapping them. I can't do it right now because I'm holding the selfie stick with one hand. <laughs> but basically you get the idea. She just would hold one with one hand and one with the other and just kind of tap them together. And she loved that. She loved to make the noise. She loved the sound. 
you don't want to spend too much money on to baby toys that are too age specific because eventually they're going to grow out of them. I know that, you know, if you're going to have more than one child, that's fine. But even then, you don't need that many baby toys. I mean, eventually you're going to stop having children and I don't know what are you going to do with all these baby toys. I mean, I guess some you can keep so when they have kids, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. I just think it's better to try to save your money. See, like right now. Even now she likes to hold on to those wooden blocks and she'll use anything that she has in the other hand and basically tap with it. So that's another good toy. This is just a basic little basket. Uh, she loves this basket. And the cool thing about, look what she's doing. What are you doing? This is her new favorite thing to do. She likes to crawl into here. <laughs> Okay, so the next toy is basically just this basket. And in here, we have some goodies. They are just the alphabet letters. But, obviously she doesn't know the alphabet, but she loves to stick her hand in there. Uh, but when she was younger, like six months old, she would st stick her hand in there and just kind of go like that. That was her favorite thing to do. These will obviously grow with your child. My toddler plays with these all the time. It doesn't necessarily have to be a baby toy for it to be a toy for your baby. Does that make sense? Because babies will play with anything you put in front of them. So just think of it that way and that way you don't spend too much money, like I said, on specific age groups like baby toys. I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> okay, so, and the next thing is just books. Great books for babies. And I will show you the baby, the baby books that I have. Well, I have a lot of them, but. So I change this out, all the books out all the time. But uh, just books in general are great. And some of the my favorite uh, baby books are uh, just by this company called, oh, sorry. It's by a company called Pretty, Pretty Books. It's P-R-I-D-D-Y. And they make great books because they're like real pictures instead of like cartoonish, you know, pictures. We have a bunch of these books from this company, but again, there's first 100 animals. It's just about it being, getting into the habit of reading. So books are great. One book that she really loved when she was a baby, when she was younger, was this black and white book that we have. That was a great, great book. And we still use it, but now she likes more colorful, like, you know, pictures like, like the one I showed you guys. So there's that. Uh, the next thing I want to show you guys is a mirror. This was a mirror that we used forever. It's really dirty right now. It's black and white, which is perfect for babies three to six months old. And um, I would put this in front of her when I was doing tummy time and it's great because it can't break. And even now, she still loves to look at herself. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? Is that you? But yeah, a mirror is great. Uh, you can get a, a, you know, a real mirror, one of those cheap ones at Target or whatever. Doesn't have to be expensive. The, I would say that preferably the ones that are very thin that you can just put on the wall and they won't like come falling down and anything happen to your child. So you can get one of those thin ones. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You can get them at Target or wherever. And then there's this one. I don't remember where I got this. I think I got it used. And it's great because, again, the mirror won't break, so you don't have to worry. And when you put them on tummy time, this is a great thing to put in front of them so they can look at look at themselves. So the next thing I want to show you guys that's great for three to six months, and it will grow with your baby, is this. Uh, I don't know what these are called, like um, whatever they're called, but they're great because when they're more three to six months, they're kind of just exploring it. Now, obviously, she tries. She knows to open the little doors there. Um, she really likes this toy. We got it used. These tend to be on the more expensive side, so if you can find this used, I would say definitely do that. It has all these different things on each side. This is a great toy. Uh, it's definitely not a requirement. It's definitely not necessary. None of these toys are really necessary, but if you do want to get them for your baby, then it's cool. 
Obviously now it's a lot more fun because she can stand. Uh, when she was three to six months old, she would just kind of sit and like move the, move the things at the bottom around like this. But now she's more able to stand and just kind of play with it. But it's the type of toy that it'll interest a baby, but not a toddler. So eventually they will grow out of this. And I'm going to show you a couple more toys and I think this is going to end this video, but uh, okay, so believe it or not, <laughs> believe it, I keep saying believe it or not, but I think I said in the early, in the beginning of this video is that I didn't buy too many baby toys. And the reason is because as she started sitting up and just holding on to things, things like these, a sorry, things like these wooden animals interested her. Even now she loves these wood, all these wooden animals that her sister has. And you know, they're great because this, these type of toys, your baby will definitely, definitely grow into. They don't have to be, they don't have to be baby, baby toys, like I said. And uh, when she got bigger, when she got from three to six, like a three months, she was just, you know, looking at them basically. But as she got closer to six months, six months, she was able to hold on to them and actually put them in her mouth sometimes. Uh, but yeah, it was, they're just great toys because I know that uh, she can play with them when she gets older. A baby will play with pretty much anything you give them. It doesn't have to be a specific toy. I sometimes give her my pots and pans and she plays with them. And she did when she was even younger. So, uh, And then the last thing I want to tell you guys is it's not necessarily like an object toy per se. But, it, but it's still great. And I think that babies sh should uh, listen to music. We play a lot of music in my house. Till this day, if she hears music, she kind of starts to dance and move, which I love. And I just think it, I don't know, it makes the atmosphere in your house a lot happier. So if you're having a very stressful day, because it can happen obviously with a baby, sometimes lack of sleep and all those things. And I have also a, toddler <laughs> so sometimes they can get stressful but I swear if you put on music my mood changes like that fast it's just I don't know it's hard to be in a bad mood when you're listening to good music and so that's pretty much it hopefully I showed you guys everything I do have other toys that I want to talk about some that are more closer to six months and then we'll go into the 12 month age like musical toys and all kinds of stuff that I have back here uh, that I want to show you guys, but but yeah, so we will see you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye. You want to say bye? You want to say bye? You want to say bye? Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. bye. You want to say bye? Say bye. You want to say bye? Hi. Yeah. Adios.